my name is Julia. Thank you all so much for coming to my vinyasa yoga class this evening. I hope you all are doing well and excited for class. Um, before we get started, I'm going to read you all the William and Mary Campus Recreation Waiver. In order to make these classes as freely accessible to our participants, we will be using a verbal warning and assumption of risk at the beginning of the class. Participation in this online class is voluntary. Physical activity programs may result in injury, and by participating, you assume the risk of you assume the risk of injury that may result from your participation. We strongly recommend that you participate from a space that is suitable for this activity. For example, make sure that you have moved nearby furniture and other potential hazards. If you are participating in a yoga class or a class that involves laying on the ground, we recommend using a mat or if you don't have one, a carpeted area. Participants are encouraged to stop if they experience pain or injury and should seek appropriate medical advice or care as needed. William & Mary Health & Wellness strongly recommends that each participant have an annual physical examination and follow the healthcare, the advice of your healthcare provider before participating. All right, so let's get started on our mats in a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall, reaching through the crown of the head, rolling the shoulder blades down the back, stacking your shoulders over your hips, and resting your palms on your thighs, palms down for grounding or palms up to receive energy. Allow the gaze to soften or the eyelids to close. Emptying out all the air from your lungs, starting on empty, before taking a deep, slow inhale through the nose. Filling up the lungs as much as you can and open the mouth, cleansing exhale. Once again, deep, slow inhale through the nose. Cleansing exhale. Once more, deep inhale. And exhale. Emptying out all the air from your lungs. This time, inhaling for four, three, two, one, and hold. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold. Inhale, one, inhale, four, three, two, one, and exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one. And coming back to your natural breath cycle, blinking the eyes open, and bringing your right ear towards your right shoulder, ever so gently. Slowly coming back through center, bringing your left ear towards your left shoulder. Coming back through center, right ear to right shoulder. Back through center, one more time, left ear to left shoulder. Slowly coming back to center, reaching your arms up overhead, side stretching over to the right, keeping, this, keeping space between the shoulders and the ears, keeping the weight evenly distributed between your sits bones, opening up the chest towards the ceiling. Coming through center and stretching over to the left. Coming back through center once again, over to the right, maybe coming a little bit deeper. And once more, coming back through center, over to the left. And back to center, making your way into tabletop. Stacking your shoulders over your wrists, stacking your hips over your knees, elongating through the spine, and 
Dipping the back, bringing the gaze forward for cow. Rounding the spine, tucking the chin, cat. Moving through a few rounds of cat and cow at your own pace. Feel free to incorporate any other movement that feels good, maybe some hip circles or some side to side. and meeting in neutral tabletop. Reaching your left arm out in front of you as if you were to shake someone's hand and pressing back through your right heel, creating one line and rounding the back, bringing your elbow to your knee and hold. Extend, elbow to knee. Extend, really engaging the core to help keep your balance. One more time, elbow to knee, extend. Lower your hand, lower your knee, reach your right arm out in front of you and press back through your left heel. Rounding the spine, elbow to knee, extend. Elbow to knee, extend. Elbow to knee, extend. Lower your hand, lower your knee, flip your right palm over, touching each fingertip to your thumb for a wrist release. And reverse. Ball up your fist and straighten the elbow just a little bit. Shake it out. Flip your left palm over, touching each fingertip to your thumb. And reverse. Ball up your fist, straighten your elbow just a little bit and shake it out. Pressing both hands firmly into the mat, grounding through the roots of the fingers. Tuck your toes and send the hips up and back to downward facing dog. Pedaling out through the feet, chest coming towards the thighs, releasing the head and shoulders, nodding the head yes, shaking the head no. Coming up on the toes, bending your knees and straightening the legs as you bring your heels closer to the mat and finding stillness. Bring your gaze to the top of the mat, slowly stepping forward to forward fold, bending the knees generously, stacking your shoulders over your, or stacking your hips over your ankles, and grounding through the feet as you slowly rise with a flat back, reaching your arms up overhead in upward salute, drawing your hands through to heart center to Tadasana, mountain pose. Building our Tadasana from the ground up, really grounding through the three corners of the feet, which are below the big toe mound, the little toe mound, and the heel. Drawing up through the kneecaps, externally rotating your shoulders, sending energy through the fingertips. Stacking your shoulders over your hips, over your heels. Tadasana. Reaching your arms up overhead, upward salute. Bending the knees and folding forward from the hip creases with a flat back all the way down to forward fold. Tracing the fingertips up the shins with a flat back, halfway lift, reaching through the crown of the head and coming back to fold. This time, bending the knees as much as you need to to place one hand and then the other underneath the feet so that your toes are coming towards your wrist crease, giving your hands a nice little massage. Releasing one hand and then the other, bending through the knees, grounding through the feet as you rise with a flat back, arms overhead. Drawing your hands through heart center to Tadasana. And coming right back up. Bend the knees, forward fold. Halfway lift, back to fold. Plant your hands on the mat, step back with the left foot and then the right into plank. Stacking your shoulders over your wrists 
and lower the knees to the mat, untuck your toes and keep your elbows hugging in by your side as you lower all the way down to the mat, resting your forehead on the mat. Pressing the tops of the feet into the mat, legs engaged, kneecaps lift without any weight in the hands. Inhale, peel the chest off the mat for baby cobra, keeping the gaze lowered. And lower back down, press your hands into the mat, tuck your toes and send the hips up and back to downward facing dog. Lifting the left leg to three-legged dog, dialing the pinky toe to point towards the mat so that your hips are even. Bend the knee, draw it in towards the chest, and plant the left foot. Lower the back knee, untuck the back toes. We're in low lunge with the front knee stacked over your ankle. Left hip drawing back, right hip drawing forward so that your hip points are facing the top of the mat. Beginning to straighten the front leg, coming into runner's lunge. Flexing the foot, opening up the hamstrings. And flowing through low lunge and runner's lunge at your own pace. Meeting in low lunge, bringing one hand and then the other up onto the thigh, reaching your arms up overhead. Framing the foot, planting your hands on the mat and opening up towards the left for a twist, keeping your knee stacking over your ankle. Coming back through center, countering the twist over to the right, planting both hands on the mat, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, send the left leg back to three-legged dog, lower the toes to the mat, and lift your right leg to three-legged dog. Bend the knee, draw it in towards the chest, planting that foot. Lower the back knee, untuck the back toes, so we're in low lunge, once again, with your knee stacked over your ankle. Beginning to straighten the front leg, coming into runner's lunge. Flowing between low lunge and runner's lunge at your own pace. As we warm up the hamstring. Meeting, meeting back in low lunge, reaching your arms up towards the ceiling, planting your hands on the mat, opening up towards the right for a twist. Countering the twist over to the left. Planting both hands on the mat, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, send the right leg back to three-legged dog. Lower your toes down to the mat. Bring your gaze to the top of the mat and slowly step forward to fold. Ground through the feet, rising to upward salute. Draw your hands through heart center and keep them there as we sink our hips down into chair pose. We should still be able to see the tips of our toes, chest is nice and lifted. Option to extend your arms overhead. Maybe sinking the hips a little bit deeper, you got it. And forward fold. Halfway lift, back to fold. Plant your hands on the mat, step back to plank. Knees on or off the mat, lower all the way down. And pressing your hands just slightly into the mat as you peel the chest off the mat for cobra. And lower back down. Press your hands into the mat, tuck your toes 
and send the hips up and back to downward dog. Coming up on the toes, rolling forward, coming into plank. And we'll hold here for a little while, really reaching through the crown of the head, pressing back through your heels, engaging the core to help keep your balance. Lifting the hips, rolling back to downward dog. Pausing for a moment before coming back up on the toes, rolling forward to plank. One more breath. Coming back to downward dog. And one more time, rolling forward to plank. Awesome job, you got it. And coming back to downward dog. Lift the left leg, planting the left foot. Coming up to crescent lunge, reaching your arms overhead. Hips are facing the top of the mat, front knee stacked over ankle. We're up on the ball of the back foot. Gaze forward. Really finding that adduction drawing in towards the midline. Great job. Planting your hands on the mat, step back to downward dog. Lifting the right leg to three-legged dog. Bend the knee, planting the right foot. Coming up to crescent lunge. Drawing the shoulder blades down the back. And planting your hands on the mat, step back to downward dog. Lower your knees to the mat, untuck your toes, send your hips back to your heels, resting your forehead on the mat. Arms can be out in front or down by your sides in child's pose. Reach your arms back out in front of you. Tuck the toes, lift the hips back to downward dog. Bring the gaze to the top of the mat, stepping forward to fold and rising to upward salute. Hands at heart center and sitting back into chair once again, taking whichever arm position you prefer. Maybe this time trying to come up on the toes. <laughs> Lower back down, forward fold, halfway lift, back to fold, plant your hands on the mat, step back to plank, and you can either lower all the way down and take cobra, or you can join me in coming forward on the toes, lowering halfway to chaturanga, and pulling through to upward facing dog with your hips and your knees up off the mat, gaze forward. And we'll all meet in Downward Dog. Lift your left leg to three like a dog. Rounding through the back as you bring your knee to your nose and hold for 10 seconds. Almost done, you got it. and plant the foot. Also, this time planting the back foot, so your feet are about hip width apart, coming up to warrior one. Once again, front knee stacked over ankle, hips are angled slightly towards the front of the mat, um, both feet planted on the mat, arms up, gaze forward. Great job, planting your hands on the mat, stepping back to downward dog, lifting the left leg, coming into cheetah, bringing your knee to your nose, rounding the spine and hold. 10 seconds. Eight, nine, and 10, plant that foot, plant the back foot as well. Coming up to warrior one.
Awesome job, planting the hands back down on the mat, pivoting onto the ball of the back foot, coming back to a downward facing dog. Bring the gaze to the top of the mat and you can either step or float to the top. Rising to upward salute. Hands at heart center. Once again, sitting back into our favorite chair pose. Maybe sinking the hips a little deeper and folding forward. Halfway lift, back to fold. Plant your hands on the mat, step back to plank and take a flow of your choice. It can be cat and cow, cobra, upward dog, whatever you prefer. And we'll all meet in downward dog. Lift the left leg, plant the left foot. Plant the right foot as well, coming up to warrior one. Once again, arms up. This time, clasping our hands together behind our backs with the left thumb on top, elbows bent and reaching towards one another, lengthening through the spine as we prepare for a humble warrior, hinging forward from the hip creases with a flat back, so that our left shoulder is coming towards the inside of the left knee. And once you've gone as far as you can, you can release the head and shoulders. Option to extend the arms overhead if that feels good for a shoulder stretch. Bending the elbows. Grounding through the feet as you slowly rise with the flat back. Reaching your arms overhead to warrior one. Planting your hands on the mat. Step back to downward dog. Lifting the right leg, setting up for warrior one. And rise. Interlacing your hands with the right thumb on top, elbows bent and reaching towards one another. Lengthen through the spine and come forward to humble warrior. Right shoulder coming towards the inside of the right knee. Option to extend your arms. Bend the elbows. Rising to warrior one, arms overhead. Planting your hands on the mat, step back to downward dog. Lower the knees, untuck the toes, send your hips back to your heels in child's pose. Reach your arms out in front, lift the hips, tuck the toes, coming back to downward dog. Step or float to the top. Rising to upward salute. Drawing your hands through heart center to Tadasana. And reaching your arms up overhead, forward fold. Halfway lift. Back to fold, plant your hands on the mat, step back to plank. Take a flow of your choice and meet in downward dog. Lift your right, or lift your left leg to three-legged dog. This time bending the knees and opening up the hips, stacking one on top of the other. Drawing circles with the ankle. Keeping the weight evenly distributed between your arms. Switch circles. Closing the hips, extending your leg. And uh, bending your knee in towards the chest. Plant your left foot. Plant the back foot as well so that your front heel is aligned with the back arch. Windmilling the arms up to warrior two. 
with your front knee stacked over your ankle, grounding through the outer edge of the back foot, shoulders stacked over hips, arms out to a T, gaze over the front fingertips. Beautiful warriors. Flip the front palm, reverse your warrior. Back to warrior two. Pivot onto the ball of the back foot as you lower your hands back down to the mat, stepping back to downward dog, lifting the right leg, bending the knees, opening up the hips, stacking one on top of the other, drawing circles with the ankle, and switch direction. Square the hips. Bend your knee in towards the chest, planting the right foot, planting the back foot as well, front heel to back arch, windmilling the arms up to warrior two. Finding that nice external, external rotation of the front leg, internal rotation in the back. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Back to warrior two. Wiggle the arms back down. And this time, stepping back to, <laughs> to downward dog and either stepping or floating to the top. Rising to upper salute. And through heart center to Tadasana. Pausing for a breath cycle. Arms up overhead, forward fold, halfway lift, and back to fold. Plant your hands on the mat, step back to plank. Take a flow of your choice, leading in downward dog. Lift the left leg, set up for warrior two. Windmill the arms up. Reverse your warrior. Back to warrior two. Bring your hands to your hips, extend your legs, paralleling the feet to one another. Keeping a micro bend in each knee, lengthen through the spine and fold forward from the hip creases with a flat back to wide legged forward fold. Reaching for either your shins or the mat, going as far as you can, and then releasing the head and shoulders. Bending into one leg and then the other. Moving back and forth. and finding stillness. Ground through the feet as you bring your hands to your hips, slowly rise with a flat back. Pausing for a moment here. And finding warrior two on the other side. Reaching your arms out to a T, gaze up for the front fingertips. Flip the front palm, reverse your warrior. Back to warrior two. Windmill the arms back down. Step back to uh, downward dog. Lower your knees to the mat, untuck your toes. Take child's pose. Reach your arms out in front of you, lift the hips, tuck the toes, coming back up to downward dog. And this time walking your hands to meet the feet in forward fold. Grounding through the feet, rise. 
and turn to face the top of the mat in Tadasana. Let's uh, move on to a fun standing pose. We'll do um, eagle, but sleeping eagle, Dharudasana. Shifting the weight into the left foot, bending the right knee, and crossing your right thigh over your left, bending into both knees. You can stay here or you can wrap your ankle even further. Wrap in your right arm underneath the left, elbows up, arms coming away from the body, really drawing in towards the midline, engaging the core, sinking the hips a little deeper, but keeping the chest nice and lifted. Beautiful. And if it feels good, feel free to cocoon <laughs> into your nest for sleeping eagle. Beautiful, ground through the feet, slowly rise. Unravel the arms, unravel the legs, shake it out. And shift the weight into the right leg, bending the left knee, cross the left thigh over the right. You can stay here, you can bend a little deeper, crossing the ankle further. And with your left arm underneath your right, you can just have your hands up on your shoulders or you can do the whole wrap. Um, really keeping the chest lifted, bending a little deeper. Beautiful job. And if you would like, you can go to sleep in your sleeping eagle, folding forward. Grounding through the foot as you rise, unraveling the arms and slowly unraveling the legs. Shake it out. Great job. Re reaching your arms up overhead and folding forward. Halfway lift, back to fold. Plant your hands on the mat, step back to plank. Take a flow of your choice. Meeting in downward dog. Lift the left leg to three legged dog. <clears throat> Bend the knee, draw it in towards the chest, planting the left foot. And this time, walking the foot out to the edge of the mat, <clears throat> bringing both hands to the inside of the knee as we prepare for lizard pose. Lowering the back knee and untucking the back toes. Keeping your left knee stacking over your ankle, hugging into the side of your shoulder. You can stay here or you can lower down onto your forearms, whatever's most comfortable for you. Beginning to walk your left, um, or if you're not on your forearms, or if you are on your forearms, coming back up onto the hands before walking your foot back to center, framing the foot with your hands, tuck the back toes, lift the knees, send the left leg back to downward dog. Lifting the right leg, planting the right foot, and walking the foot out to the edge of the mat, bringing both hands planting them on the inside. Lower the back knee, untuck the back toes, and you can stay here or lower onto your forearms in lizard.
Coming up onto the hands if you're not already. Slowly walking your foot back to center. Planting both hands on the mat, tuck the back toes, lift the knee. Coming back to downward dog. Lower your knees to the mat, untuck your toes. Send your hips back to your heels, reaching your arms back behind you in child's pose. Reaching your arms out in front. Tuck your toes, lift the hips, back to downward dog. Um, lower your knees to the mat and make your way into a comfortable seated position. At the top of your mat with your legs stretched out in front of you. Dandasana, staff pose, flexing through your feet, reaching through the crown of the head and fold, folding forward in any amount. Coming back up and lo lowering, lowering yourself all the way down onto the mat on your back. Bending the knees and pressing the soles of the feet together with your knees coming out wide in Supta Baddha Konasana reclined bound ankle. Your heels can be closer or farther away from your sits bones, whatever's most comfortable for you. Using the hands to guide the legs closed. Hugging your knees in towards the chest. And keeping the left knee hugging in towards the chest as you extend your right leg long on the mat. Hugging your knee in deeper towards the chest with each exhale. Guiding your knee over towards the left, opening up the hips a little bit. And then extending your left arm long on the mat as you draw your left knee across the body, coming into a twist. Slowly coming back to center, hugging the right knee in towards the chest and laying the left leg long on the mat. Hugging your knee in deeper towards the chest with each exhale. And guiding your knee over towards the right to open up the hips a little bit. Extending your right arm out to the side as you draw your knee across the body for a twist.
slowly coming back to center, hugging both knees in towards the chest, maybe rocking a little front and back, side to side. And reaching for the outer edges of your feet as you draw your knees in towards your armpits for a happy baby. Maybe rocking a little side to side or front and back. And slowly release when you're ready. Extending your legs long on the mat. Relaxing your arms down by your sides. Allowing the feet to splay apart allowing the gaze to soften or the eyes to close. And doing a full body scan from the top of your head through the tips of your toes, releasing any remaining tension, especially in your jaw, in your shoulders. And settle into your Shavasana. Start to bring awareness back into the body, wiggling the fingers and the toes, drawing circles with the wrists and the ankles. Reaching your arms overhead in a full body stretch. And using your arm as a pillow as you roll onto your right side. Pressing your hands into the mat to help press yourself back up to a comfortable seated position. <clears throat> with your palms together at heart center. Namaste. All right, that's all for today. Thank you all so much for coming to my class. Again, my name is Julia, and I hope you have a great rest of your week and weekend.